So I need to against homosexuals. Good thing. Good Alright, we'll make a deal. We'll make a deal. This guy's going down, right? Like more ways than one, apparently. We double his salary. Huh? This year he's out. He takes it and goes home. Good goodbye package. Or we will get every Catholic to boycott worldwide Qantas and its affiliates. But sometimes they are in line with Emirates, for example. Sharing. I wrote this, uh, actually, uh, what's his name again? Jock. He uh, asked me, he said, if I take sport, spoke to the pontiff today. Mm. I said, yeah, actually, I sent him a thing on Revelation 7 and 11. I just told him it's going to be all right. I'll be there soon. Right. Uh, don't worry about it. So we've got to get there. Mm. And you've got to come in all your glory. Mm. So Qantas are better cough up. Because mm. if they don't, all Catholics worldwide will boycott. Mm. The Pope that takes the double month salary, it goes. Mm. There'll be no homosexuals employed in Qantas. So we're looking for a staff pretty quick. Mm. It might be Jesuit priests or something. Mm. All right, so I wrote and I said, the prophecy of Revelation cannot be broken. The translations vary between languages. First, the Freemason, 1611. And the beast that was and is not, even he is eight and is of seven and goeth into perdition. It's confusing. Right? So the next one after that, we go to the uh, Jewish Bible. Same, Revelation 7 and 11. This is called the Complete Jewish Bible, CJB in bracket. Number 11. The beast which once was and now is not is an eighth king. It comes from the seven and is on the way to destruction. So the beast is the church. Okay, I'll read it down here. The beast, head of the church of the beast, which once was and now is not, Benedict, the 16th, is an 8th king, renamed Petrus, he who was the Pope under the beast domination. Mm. Yeah. New name, new Pope, under Christ, destroys the beast under Francis I. A counterfeit. Mm. Romanus, or Peter the Roman too, is the new name of Benedict the 16th. It comes from the seven. And, which is church, beast, brackets, bold. It comes from the seven and is on its way to destruction. It comes from the seven under the beast. Mm. They're dead. Mm. Is on its way to destruction. That's right. <laughs> it is not a physical destruction of Rome. Mm. The demons are destroyed, controlling the church, Vatican II. New now the new Catholic version. I thought I thought uh, he's holding this might find this interesting. Mm. We're now selling at uh, Revelation selling at Revelation seven and eleven. New revised standard version Catholic edition. It's called the in brackets N R S V C E. It's in capital, so therefore it's dead. As for the beast that was and is not, it is an eight, but it belongs to the seven, and it goes to destruction. All right, it's getting close. It gets closer than that. As for the beast, church dominated by the devil, yeah. that was and is not. You got the camera on? No. Nope. <laughs> haven't you got the camera on? Slow, babe. Slow 
I've got to read this again. I'm up to Revelation 7 and 11 NRSVCE, which is capitals, means dead. Has it started yet? Yes, it's done. Oh. I was asked today um, by um, Joel. Joel if I'd sent anything to the, the Pope. And I said, yeah. And so uh, I wrote it out here and then sent it, I put it to his Facebook as well so I start at the top here Holy Father I have sent this to uh, some news people whom I have made friends with and I was referring to Donnie in America and uh, JR and uh, to make it clearer Revelation which is a sale 1711 as a time is 17.11 or 5.11 p.m. when the show was starting that was going to be changed un without you knowing of the announcement of Christ being back with the Shroud of Turin display. So the Antichrist changed that. The Antichrist wants the world to remain poisoned. They want them to remain poor and starving. They are in control of them. And close they can get to absolute... Uh, misery and suffering in some nation uh, find, they find that these people are the closest possible you can get to God so they suck off that so we're going to read a little bit clearer what 1711 is that's the start of the show for the um, revealing that the uh, face of myself was in the face of the Shroud of Turin. This is the prophecy on the 30th of March. His Holiness Pope Emeritus Benedict the 16th was going to announce Christ's return. The venue was the showing of the Shroud of Turin in Italy. The prophecy of Revelation cannot be broken. The translations vary between languages, so therefore they all have to be right. So, First, the Freemason, King James, uh, the, the first of England, 1611 version. This is the one with the concordance numbers in it. He was the first man anointed upon the rock of the schoon, which my grand, great, 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 so forth, grandparents were anointed upon. So, it says, King James version, KJV, in brackets, is dead. And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth and is of the seven and goeth into perdition. It's very confusing, so we go to the next one. It's meant to confuse. If you go to the Jewish Bible, that sort of makes my hair stand up a bit. However, complete Jewish Bible, oh, it's okay. CJB in capitals, it's also dead. The beast which was and is now is not is an eighth king. It comes from the seven and is on its way to destruction. Now, the point being, uh, you've had thousands of years and hundreds of years to uh, translate this right and still haven't got it right. We go to the complete Jewish translation. The beast headed the church of the beast, which once was and now is not. Benedict the 16th. He's now being held responsible for the atrocities of the church. Is an eighth king. He's renamed, in brackets, Petrus, who was the Pope under the beast domination, but has now become the one Pope that welcomes and announces Christ to the world. Therefore, he becomes new name, new Pope, under Christ, destroys the beast under Francis I. Romanus, or Peter the Roman II, is the name of... Benedict the 16th. It comes from the seven and church beast is on its way to destruction. 
It is not a physical destruction of Rome. The demons are destroyed, controlling the church, Vatican II, now the Catholic version. So I think you'd be really interested by all this. This is the uh, new revised uh, standard version Catholic edition in capitals is dead. As for the beast that was and is not, it is an eighth, but it belongs to the seven and it goes to destruction. So we do it again. Explanation. As for the beast, church dominated by the devil, that was and is not. It's not as it was illegal. The new Christ is back, was told to the conclave before it assembled, time between the retirement of Benedict the sixteenth. It, then the news of Christ and the former Pope's righteous revives the church under Christ's return. Okay. The Pope can understand that. Well, I haven't got a clue what it means himself. He is the eighth, but was the last of the former seven, still living from the domination of the former beast. Therefore, it's got to be him. Of the seven, since the 11th of February, 1929, to 84 years later, His Holiness Benedict the 16th retired, February the 11th, 2013. A miracle right before your eyes. And it, the former beast government of the church, goes to destruction with the announcement by His Holiness that was scheduled for the 1711 Rome time, cancelled by the Antichrist Francis I, starting at 1713. 15. 15. What number is that? for the sight of increase corn flour wheat properly from 1711 (laughs) to become numerous and to grow to spawn from 1709 see what's happening A vibratory action of his tail as fish moving by the vibratory action of their tails. Collectively, fish. I make you fishermen of men. Who do I say that to? Peter? Peter. Okay. One, five, three. So now it gets interesting. The Greek. All in capitals again. And the beast who was CDK Estin and A in brackets himself, Estin, eight and X seven Estin and two loss falls. What do you think of that? And two loss falls. That's what that means. I'll read it again. Mm-hmm. And the beast who was an Estin and a himself Estin was in eight and even X seven S was in and to loss to loss fails. We'll put it with the other ones. What is trying to say? What's going what's going to fall? Well obviously when God gets back it's righteousness and the evil falls, which has got to be the church. Mm-hmm. So it's saying the church under the beast of the seven, to lost falls. Well, fall. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's what I said today to Father Giuseppe. Right. Well, I, this is what I've already sent to um, His Holiness, right? Mm. He probably like us. I'm sure he will. He'll like it. Now, he sent this to, to um, me. The Pope sent me this email. Francis did something strange. 03, 31, 13. 9.46 a.m. Mm-hmm. you got the numbers, right? Well, it's actually at I'm telling you what I'm reading. Yeah. Less info. Pontiff Emeritus Benedict's inverted commas. Then his address. Two, 
Brian Golightly Marshall, Yahweh at thenextmail.org. Francis allowed a ceremony in front of the Holy Shroud of Turin to be televised, but he did not allow me to announce your return. Like, is that a checkmate or not? This idiot. Had he allowed it to go ahead, he would have been the right hand man of Jesus. He could have stepped up. You're yeah. saying, yes, I believe. Bingo, he's the right hand man. Like, and he's the devil, right? Mm. But he can't do it. Why? He cannot approach God and live. So we escort the Pope in ceremony after he's told everybody in Rome mm. back into the Vatican. He's got a special announcement. We've already told everybody, right? Well, we're doing it now. So I just want to make that clear. How, um, okay, this is, however, distracting from the letter. His prophecy holds the new Pope had stopped Benedict making the announcement Christ is back. Green line underneath it. It was part of a televised address to the Shroud of Turin display. Benedict had ordered the Shroud of Turin to be displayed and videoed showing my picture and the face of the Shroud. His announcement was ready for broadcast, but we were interested having seen the news the Shroud was being displayed. When, I, when we logged on at the time of the show, it was cancelled and was talking to the Pope online and told him. Alarmed, he rang the station immediately and was told Francis had cancelled it. He said it was monstrous that Francis would do that. His words. Isn't that what they're saying? Yeah. He cancelled the announcement that it's Christ. Right? It has more twists than the Da Vinci Code. I love it. <laughs> now Pope Benedict's former right-hand bishop who assists the reigning Pope uh, he was transferred to the new Pope Francis after the election as his job is Pope's assistant. So here we go. We've got the Bishop, George, gorgeous George. Every, all the women love him. Mm. It's actually a woman dressed up, you know. <laughs> well, there was a Pope Joan. You know that? You know how she got found out? She gave birth in a procession. She was dead mate. Bishop George was with Francis when the Pope told him about me and breached the subject with Francis who said Christ has an Aussie accent in a question. That's not a denial. Christ has an Aussie accent? That's a surprise. So by me looking for the news about the Shroud, searching the web, you, when I say me, I mean you. I'm saying, when I say me, I mean you. That's, I don't care about anything else. Right? But when you do it, you do it by yourself. Benedict telephoned the station, Dexter Sheehan's online, yeah. Wait a minute, I'll just select this. Edit. Select all. Copy. What's he on Skype, is he? Yeah. Well, I can send him a message then. sending this to Dex and I'm putting a uh, as Benedict is the only one alive
then he becomes the eighth but the Antichrist has emerged claiming the throne of the former Pope. Put a little smiley face in there. of water again. I definitely heard water then. Well, I, I just sent him what I just sent you on Skype. Huh? I'm saying to Dexter, I just sent what I sent the Pope today after Joel asked me if I'd sent anything to the Pope. So I sent to uh, Dexter what I sent to the Pope. Okay. That sound anything like it. <laughs> 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 anyway, bottom line is uh, all, all good to go. Um, uh, the Pope is going to be sent to We're selling everything to get the fare. Yeah. <laughs> we're on eBay. Well, we're, on, on, we're on an eBay if you want one of these treadmills that women use for about two or three days and give up on them. A tread climber, not a tread climber. Oh, well, right. That's right. Have you got a heat box? Heat box? Yeah, we've got a heat box. A sweat box? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. go on then. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it has like the, the, this uh, particular thing we call it an inverter. So you could say that Christ has been hung upside down on that, and uh, we're going to sell it on eBay, right? Some idiot will buy it. <laughs> oh, so, so what's the situation then? Can I stay with him? Or yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, Because all I'm saying is if you get refused, that person who has refused you will be cast into the bottomless pit. Yeah. <laughs> mm. yeah. uh, but it's, what I was going to do anyway was just get a flight out there and then buy along when I come home. So if it's yeah. like... Uh, yeah, we'll probably, be, we'll probably be driving back to England, anyhow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.
1138, Kent, England. A bunny. Got it? where you could have say two or three different accounts and you have two computers talking to different at the same person. Huh? Mm. Yeah, you can do it as a conferencing like that, isn't it? Alright, so we see um, he's got the message in now, he's, he's gone. Alright, we get down to um, Benedict Telephone the station. Let's go up a bit. This is the letter. So by us looking for the news about the shroud via my darling searching the web Pope Benedict had a surprise for me his announcement so when talking casually I told the Pope the station had cancelled and Francis was she told the Pope So we're going to hire a car or two or three over there. So they're quite cheap. And uh, have people running around uh, with loud hailers saying this is what's happened to the Pope. Uh, the Antichrist Francis has locked him up and uh, he wanted to say something about the Shroud of Turin and was stopped by the, the Antichrist. And uh, the conclave already knew I was yet back, yet they still went ahead and elected the beast. So um, yeah, they yeah. renamed him uh, Petros Romanus which fulfills a prophecy of Malachi predicting 111 popes, but not 112th, because the 112th is the 111th. The last pope alive becomes the 8th, obviously, of the new church. Yeah. Right? So they're trying to arrest him for the, for the uh, sins of Vatican II, which was allowed by the former popes, right? who was a hero, yet was terrified when he seen locked eyes on me in, in Australia. That's Pope John Paul II. So... Well, I've got so a, um, a portable DVD record, uh, CD recorder now, so we can even uh, do some uh, CDs and send them, pass them out around um, yeah. uh, back in the square and stuff. You know? That's right. Good. Okay, good stuff. And we'll have now a live upload of uh, we all are embracing the Pope and he said he wanted his frail old hands wanted to shake my hand well I've got to go because I want to shake his hand more than he's shaking mine I can assure you Without well, of, course, of course you've got to be there haven't you oh yeah absolutely <laughs> have you had any of these things around before? no I uh, only uh, in transit when I was going to Africa yeah I've always wanted to go it looks like a fascinating place it's obviously a lot of history there that and the pyramids, obviously. Yeah, well, that's right. Now, you we'll be going there too, Dex. Don't worry about it. Lucky you got your CD thing. Yeah. Now, now for you, it's a two and a half hour flight, isn't it? Something like that? I think it's six hours, actually. Yeah, it's six hours. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Well, looking on the flights um, on um, EasyJet, whether that's a change at Frankfurt or something, might be two hours on the ground. Yeah, because I came um, the other day from London to Rome. Ones off, that maybe that was why the ones I was looking at were cheaper then. Maybe they change at Frankfurt and you get on some Norwegian airline or something. I'll, I'll, I'll check further. The flight, 
nothing long when it's been flown to Australia and back a couple of times. Oh, yeah, it's just a bottle. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four hours of play, bloody hell. <laughs> Do anything after that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, uh, so well, I won't leave you an uh, apostolic letter then, will I? Yeah, no. Yeah, take it with you. It's just that it's bank holiday here and I can't get nothing printed today and I'll plan oh, on flight like that tomorrow. Sort oh, of okay. Well, all right. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, obviously, I'll check at the airport and then once I get into Italy, because uh, there's, there's a, how long do the holidays go on there? So obviously, there's a lot of people oh, going to the right now. Now, wait a minute. I'm thinking because he said uh, that they're going to be, be busy all week. Should be when I get there. Yeah, no, next, that's next week. Well, when Dex gets there. <laughs> well, what, what are we, what are we saying here? It's a holy week, so Dex shows up. Hey, no. Oh, right. I'll leave it. I'll leave it out. Yeah. My emissary. You can, you can, you can hang out with, uh, you can, you know, be his side. I've got a lot to learn from them, obviously. Um, yeah, the you're going to tell them. them to no, what you're going, know. what you're going to do is just go tell them what you've seen over here. The Pope is right behind yeah. you. He wants to hear your story, not his. Right, yeah, um, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm a witness to what's going on there. Well, that's right. So oh, you, yeah, I've, I've, you're I've now an apostle. Uh, I'm, sh I'm, sure, uh, I'm sure you've already told me most of them, but um, obviously from my perspective, it would be... Uh, yeah, your experience. Now, yeah. also... Yeah. I've, um, I've, I've put all the, all the uploads back onto my computer. I've, I've put them in a safe place at the moment, but... I'll have all the information now. I'll show, I can show him how you do your stars and that. Yeah. I'm sure it'd be well better than that. And then the very simple, you know, the, the DVD you put together for, uh, you know, the, the Protestant horse, what's his name, John Lennox. Um, right. Yeah, all that, everything from your perspective. Because they're really innocent. I mean, even in their understanding of um, biblical texts and that, it's just pretty basic. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, I noticed um, the upload I did was already on his Facebook page. I think Andrea posted it there. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Okay. So they've already got that. But, uh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll have everything there with me anyway. Well, but, um, okay, that's great news, knowing that they're, they're expecting me to arrive. Um, <laughs> um, that's awesome. So what I'll do now is uh, I'll go on to check the flights and see if I can get there tomorrow. Okay. All right. Great. Uh, so you're, you're the Apostle, Dexter is now the Apostle Jonas. Now the only thing that was predicted was a Jonas prophecy, right? That's right. So it's a witnessing of Jonas that took into Nineveh, that actually reached Nineveh and the king before Jonas did because it was 40 miles across to the centre. Mm. So by the four days it took to get there because you were, you were sort of thinking, well, it's not a happy place to be because they cut your lips off if you're a messenger. And this is what God sent Jonas to do. So Jonas packs the ships and he's going towards Spain. Next thing he's thrown overboard, goes into hell for three days, rosed up, you've seen it, go off. You know what hell's like, I don't want to go there. So we send you over to Jonas, sent over to the story of what you have witnessed in hell, which is the future. You went and seen us in the future. That's what it means. You experienced it, you lived it. Now you're going back to tell the king. And the king of Babylon, of course, has got a pack the shits, which is of course uh, London. Right? Why? Because the uh, reigning king of London is picked by the Pope. Goes back to John the First in uh, 1213 on 15th of May that he swore fear to, to the Pope. So no matter what the Pope did, good or bad, all the way through, England had to obey. So when it gets down to now, a true Pope, a former Pope, you don't die or think you're going to die, or become ill, or say, well, I've had enough, and retire when you're a pope. You can't do it. So retiring on the 11th of February was an 84-year prophecy because that's uh, Emmanuel and Marshall. So that's right. this is how I'm trying to explain to the pope how you fit in. Don't worry about nothing. I can handle it. It's, got a, it's, a, done, it's a done deal. Right? So the more they deny him, he knows what it's like to be like me, right? how he's locked up in this conclave and he can't get out. Right? There's an arrest warrant for him if he walks down the street. Yeah, you, you know about that Kevin Annette thing, don't you, the ITCCL? ITCC? Yeah, that Kevin Annette thing? 
Is that, sa- is that the same thing as the OPPC thing? No, 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 no that's completely different. But Kevin Annette, the guy that's been driving um, the... The guy in Canada, Yeah, yeah. yeah. He denied Christ, right? Simple and sweet. He's he's denied him twice. He's out after Benedict with a 25-year lock him up in jail warrant, apparently, from the ITCPL, which is the International Mm -hmm. Court of Common Law. Well, the head of the corporation, which is what the church is, is responsible for the carryings of of its employees. Therefore, it should have done something about it. Therefore, he's responsible for it, even though he tried to do it and was suppressed by the conclave of the cardinals. Now, Benedict doesn't know about it. I he doesn't Father, know. I told him, see? Yeah, and Father, I asked Father Giuseppe, he said, I don't think he knows about it. But this is all gathering heat in mainstream and on the YouTube, of mm-hmm. course, and they're all rah, rah, and Kevin and Annette. The beast in this thing is Kevin and Annette. But he is... He's obviously a front man, man. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's he a is. Jew. Should be a, an arrest warrant out for him. As a matter of fact, when we get to Rome, we'll issue one. <laughs> right, yeah, that's Just start putting wanted posters up. That's right. See, by the time we actually get there, it may have all been over and done with, right? Yeah, we've given we've right. given Francis uh, 20, 48 hours uh, to capitulate or his dead meat. Right? Yeah, we'll go to so, uh, The bullet yeah. out will sort of coincide with me arriving in Rome. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You could just uh, <laughs> ask him if you've seen the bomb identity or something like That's that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We better download that, John. Watch it, eh? Yeah. Uh, now, uh, a brilliant movie, wasn't it? It's all getting very exciting. So, uh, oh, it is, isn't it? Wow. Yeah. It's. Uh, it really is. Well, let um, me ask you this. You know, just looking around the group as well, everyone spirits have transcend to a new level, isn't it? It's a new gear. Yeah, well, let me way. ask you this. While you were floating around the pool in luxury, or playing tennis, or walking along the beach, looking at nude homosexuals, weren't they? Whatever. <laughs> Remember that time you went for a walk and you, <laughs> there were some nude homosexuals on the beach? That's right, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was up in Harvey Bay. Would you have thought we would be at the stage today? Um, I did think it would transpire like this, but uh, yeah, I always believe that, you know, from your teachings and that is, it was a patient game for prophecy just to slip into place, wasn't it? Yeah. And half of your job was just trying to work out what prophecy was coming next. That's right. (laughs) But I say, your patience, obviously. But I, I remember yeah. when you come out to the farm, you're walking around the deck and you asked as if it was swaying <laughs> because you just realised who you was, Jonas. <laughs> so you're going to fall off the deck and swaying around for three you days. To hear, um, if um, Peter <laughs> had a body, the, the soul jolt, when uh, you mentioned to him that he was Peter, did he mention anything like that? Well, he did, yes. Uh, he immediately realised that uh, we thought so much alike that um, I said he was my little brother. Peter was my little brother, half-brother. Right? So he was the first-born child of, of Jacob, which is uh, Joseph. Joseph ben Jacob, right? the son of Jacob. Right? So he was the first-born child of Jacob. I, however, was first-born of the father. So my mother gave birth to me as a virgin, and then the second birth was now Simon Peter, which is fathered by Joseph. Right. So he's the son of the king as well, which is called uh, Joseph. So he's my little brother. Yeah. Well, see, your brother, you know, yours was immaculate, uh, he's as well then. That's right. So, uh, but so yeah, I'm saying to him, look, you run the church, you know all about the church, we put in uh, Vatican III, and that's how you cure the problem. I'll be floating around a yacht in the Bahamas. <laughs> right? Send me a text. <laughs> you got a problem? Send me a text. Now we'll have a live hookup, right? Did he catch that? 
I said, we'll have a live hookup anywhere I am in the world. The Pope wants to talk to me, just say, hey, get the old man on the line. That's right, yeah, yeah, like a fat phone. That's right. <laughs> yeah, and, and, uh, Upon this rock I will build my church, and that's Peter, Cephas, the rock. Reincarnation, he believes it, right? He announced me being the reincarnate of Jesus. Yeah, so, so we have one of those great big screens that come up wherever we are. You know, <laughs> Pope Hotline. You could be a few Project Bluebeam, like uh, as, a, as a communications technology. That's you know, a big face in the sky. Yeah, bounce it off the silver screens they've created, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, it's a little silver atmosphere. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what, what time is it there now? Well, yeah, late, you were up there this morning. I thought you were going to get a nice sleep there, Ash. No, no, I haven't. Castel del Bonte, what is it? Castel Gandolfo. Castel Den Dolfo uh, Daily News Report with, the, with Pope Benedict renamed Petrus Romanus the second. Now, now, of course, you know that they're in the Apostolic Palace, right? No. How many? <laughs> yeah. Well, somebody else wondering if they're in the hotels, because as you say, it's Holy Week, and I don't know what kind of. Uh, you just front up at the door, Dex. And they get there. It looks like it's quite Dex. hot for Dex. Italians, anyway. I don't know about this time of year. As long as he's got a tent that I can sleep in, that, well, that'd be fine. Well, he's not likely to have a tent. Have you got a backpack? You know, like a sleeping bag? Take a sleeping bag with you if you've got one. I don't have a sleeping bag. I'm going to take my backpack, though, and I'm going to uh, have me. But I won't have a sleeping so, bag. Yeah, just so you can brush the floor space. <laughs> he said the guy, the guy who's in charge, they have to see him. So you know, if you up with a, and, and, and you can see why not make a reservation for next week then? and forget this week. So what was that? Just make a reservation for next week. Forget this week altogether. Forget that. Forget it. Go so, next week. Yeah, yeah. Of course I'm, I'm not serious. Go and they will open the doors. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a problem. This is the Pope who knows you're coming. He wants to talk to you for fuck's sake. I'm not, I'm not, I'm going, I'm going. Obviously I'm just going to, 
obviously try and cover as many bases before I do. No, uh, no, you no, know, no, 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 you no, don't have to touch any bases. Go on the flow. Go on the plane. I know the angels have got my back. I've never, I've never had any issues with uh, say when I come back from Australia. I wasn't wired up to fly, and obviously we've had them in Germany, and we all know the angels have got our back. So yeah, I've got no. Go entirely on faith. <laughs> he, ha he has internet links. He said your email in between, but he just he, doesn't have yeah. recording. He doesn't have mic or webcam or anything. Right, well, yeah, I'll say I've got back, I'll take my laptop, I'll take a couple of bits of backup. Yep. We'll get the information out. Absolutely. All I'll do is I'll put my flights now and then I'll, I'll, you'll be getting quite late there, so what I'll do is later uh, I'll catch up with you in the morning there, Ash. Well, we'll just Yeah. It's only 9 o'clock in it, so we'll be up for a couple of hours yet. We've got the linux.org uh, LDS as yeah, well. Yeah, but just send a message through Skype. Type message through Skype. Right. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll uh, message you later. I'm going to get on with uh, booking that. Uh, Look forward to right. getting a message. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll speak to you later. Okay, bye. Yeah. His, his entire sense of savoir-faire, <laughs> how he launches on with utter faith, <laughs> providing <laughs> they know he's coming and they don't have a backpack and he doesn't in the hotels, maybe he's got to go next week instead. But apart from that, having lived with the Messiah and Mrs. Messiah and the disciples for a Who year... <laughs> How about we pick up 10 million tomorrow and we buy a well, plane? That'd be good. <laughs> I really think that'd be the way to yeah, go. Yeah, nice Learjet and see you. Yeah, uh, 10 million tomorrow night and then there's another 20 on. Pick up 30 million this week. Pay back for the 30 pieces of silver, babe. Yeah, I'll take it. They are in control of it. Mm -hmm. However, the angels do speed things up when we need it. Yes, so. they do. I know that. Sorry, Angel. Pass forward. Alrighty, so there it is. Uh, we'll upload this one.